All right, so let's have a quick talk about website traffic and generating leads for your business. So I've been doing digital marketing for about 19 years now. I've worked with some pretty large companies when it comes to generating traffic, website design, uh, social media marketing, and so much. So if you're looking to generate traffic for your website, which is going to increase your phone calls, generate more leads for you, book more appointments, there's really only two different ways that you're going to be able to go about doing this. All right. The first one is pretty obvious. You're either going to pay for that traffic. So you can either use Google or you can use uh, Facebook or Instagram or TikTok even in order to pay for your advertising and start getting a lot of eyeballs on the content that you're putting out. So this means that you're going to pay per click. So every time somebody clicks on your advertisement, whether they fill out a lead form uh, or if they just go and check out your content, you're going to pay for that traffic every time somebody views it. And then the second method of generating traffic and leads to your business is doing search engine optimization or SEO. Now you can go about going on Facebook and Instagram and then doing outreach to people and posting in groups and doing things like that. But that is going to be a lot slower than doing any type of paid advertising for your business. Now, I would suggest if you are a business owner and if you have the time and if you have the skill set to definitely make sure that you are optimizing your website for traffic and local search traffic. If you are a business that relies on local customers, doing SEO is going to be vital to your business. Now, SEO does have a price tag on it. If you do not know how to do this work on your own, uh, there is a learning curve that you need to go through in order to know how to properly optimize your content, both on page and off page as well. But SEO is definitely going to be a strong candidate. If we're talking about generating traffic to your website. Now, the good thing about SEO is once that content is ranking, you don't have to do much work in order to keep that content ranking. Now, there are other businesses out there that will probably be in the same field as you. And if they are paying for SEO services, then you're going to need to make sure that you are always doing a little bit more work in order to keep your listing higher than their listing. The good thing about SEO is it doesn't take a lot of money in order to start getting your content ranked. Now, if you're doing pay-per-click ads, you're definitely going to need anywhere between $3,000 to $5,000 in order to see a really big gain in traffic to your website the way that you need. Now, if you're doing SEO, you can get SEO work done anywhere between $500 all the way up to $8,000, depending on how aggressive that you're trying to be. If you want a full team working on your SEO content all day long, I mean, they're being super aggressive on your content, making sure that they're creating videos, they're writing articles, they're doing social posts, everything that you can possibly do as fast as possible. Of course, you're going to be on the high end of the spectrum when it comes to price wise for SEO work. But some money spent on SEO is better than no money at all. So if you only have a $500 budget for somebody to do uh, SEO work for your website, then a $500 budget is where you're going to start. You're definitely going to see an increase in traffic if your pages are optimized, especially if you are a local business. So if you're a local business, it's a lot easier to rank locally uh, if you're working with a professional to get that content ranked. So what does that mean? Just say, for instance, if you were a roof uh, repair company and people in your area say you're in Tampa or you're in Jacksonville, we would optimize that content. So that way, when somebody puts in Google roof repair, Tampa, Florida or Jacksonville, Florida, your content is ranking on page one. And that's going to really increase the traffic to your website. So you can start getting more leads, more phone calls, booking more appointments. So you definitely have two strong ways to build traffic to your website. You're either going to pay for the traffic and that's going to have a higher monthly budget or you're going to pay anywhere between 500 uh, the general is about, I would say around a thousand bucks a month or so, uh, for a good SEO team to get on your content. But that content, once it starts ranking, it's there, you're not paying per click. And that is the beauty about SEO. You don't have to pay per click. So just want to drop a little juice for you guys. If you need help in any of these areas, check out the link below or send me a message. I'll be here to help you out. If you're going to do it, do it like a Smith.